Hey everyone, it's Emily, and today I want to show you how to use the Cozy Clicks Brilliance and Light Set inside of Photoshop Elements. Now I'm going to be working in Photoshop 20, but these can be used in Elements 11 and up, and they are also compatible with Photoshop 5.6 and in Photoshop Creative Cloud. These are movable light and movable sunray actions to add in a beautiful sunrise, sunset, or just extra glow into your photo. So I'm going to show you right here on this photo that has this beautiful skyline here, which always makes for a great photo to add in a sunset or a sunrise. But I'm also going to show you on this photo here how to add in that little bit of extra light to give your photo a glow. You'll see this one doesn't have a skyline here. It's a pretty solid background. So you'll see how you can use this movable light on a picture like this as well. So with the movable light, you will see a play all action. And I've actually already run those here so you can see the different colors that will work with the palette of your image. Now, all you have to do is unclick each eye icon and you can see the different colored movable light that appears. Now, of course, it's coming right over his face right now, but we can move that really easy. Now, I like just by kind of clicking through this, I like the color palette of that juicy orange burst. So let's use that one on this image here. You're just going to grab your move tool. I'm going to move that away so we can see and you can move it wherever you want in your image. So if you wanted it kind of right on the skyline, like the sun was setting, you could, you might put it so it's reflecting against the water and that might be pretty too over by the rainbow. I do see he has a highlight on his hand right here. So I would guess that the sun would be kind of hitting it in this direction. So I'm going to put my sun right there and then I'm just going to click and there you have it. The sun is just like that. It's that easy. Now, if you wanted to add on another color too, you could. Maybe you wanted to get creative and there's beach radiance right here. I just clicked on that one that has some different tones in it, but you could put that over um, or maybe over in the corner up by the rainbow. You could kind of play around with these different colors and see what works for you on your image. Now, the second image here is one that doesn't have a skyline. So a sunset or a sunrise really wouldn't be coming through, but you could still have movable light in your image. Now, I played all the movable light before, but let's kind of work with some of these peek through bursts in here. I've got peachy, sunshine, tangerine, bright and bold, royal and banana split. I'm just going to start by trying the peachy and I'm going to hit play on the background layer. And that gives me one. Uh, peek through layer that comes through. So let's start with that one and see what happens. Uh, once again, I grab my move tool and you're going to move this wherever you would like that extra glow coming in. So if I want the extra glow kind of shining maybe right above her, you could. I'm looking at these highlights in her hair that are off to the side. So I would guess that the light was coming in kind of from the side there. So I'm just going to put it up like that. If you want to adjust it, if you want to change it, all you got to do is drag this down. See where these little uh, lines and squares are. You can just move your image to make it bigger or smaller if you want to. And then you just click. OK, now let's say you wanted um, I'm going to click on the layer mask. Let's say you didn't want so much on her face. You can just get a black brush. So I got a black brush here. I'm going to click apply on that black brush, change my color to black. And this is important to make sure you have that layer mask selected. You're just going to adjust the size of your brush. And I'm just brushing off of her face because I don't want that sun on her like that. OK, and it's that easy. And there you go. There it was without that movable light. And that just added in the light super easy and quick. Now, if you wanted to add some sun rays that were coming in too, you could here. There's center rays left and right. So let's click on the right, right rays and click play. And you're going to see the rays are coming in from the right side over there. I don't want them coming right from that corner. So you can easily just grab your move tool and we can take and we can move these wherever we want. We can adjust the size once again of these rays to how big we want it. I'm going to kind of adjust it so it's coming in. The rays are coming in more from where the center of our light is coming from. Now, again, I do not want 
um, the rays over her. This is too intense. So I'm going to come up to the rays. I'm going to adjust the opacity down quite a bit. And then I'm just going to grab my black brush. I'm going to brush off these rays here. And I'm going to brush off, see where that line is? And that kind of solid line. I'm going to brush that off there. Now, if I want it kind of gradually coming back, what I might do is I might take my brush and I might adjust the opacity now to maybe 50%. And then I'm gonna brush off just a little bit like that, just so we get a little bit of extra glow coming in. So I added a peachy peek through movable light and the right sun rays right there, created a layer mask and then just brushed off where I didn't want. There are really so many things that you guys can do with these movable light rays. This is in the Brilliance and Light set, and you can check those out in the description below or by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash light.